గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఎవరిబడి అందరికీ మా తరఫు నుంచి నమస్కారాలు టుడే ఇట్స్ అ గ్రేట్ డే ఆఫ్ ప్రైడ్ అండ్ ఆనర్ ఫర్ మీ టు టేక్ చార్జ్ టు హ్యావ్ టేక్ ఇన్ చార్జ్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ పోలీస్ యాజ్ డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ ఆఫ్ పోలీస్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ పోలీస్ ఐ ఎమ్ వెరీ గ్రేట్ఫుల్ to the honorable chief minister shri jagan mohan reddy garu a young and youthful and dynamic officer a chief minister who has given me this opportunity to serve as director general of police of andhra pradesh having confidence in me and giving me this opportunity andhra pradesh police has we are all aware has a legacy a very rich legacy of being one of the foremost police forces in the country historically andhra police was always on the lead a role model for all other police to follow today as we talk post the division of the state there are many challenges which andhra police had to face because of the division and many of our institutional capacities and resources got left behind and we are still grappling with this shortcomings and the challenges on a day to day basis but in the last 5 years post the division ap police has faced lot of challenges there were a lot of expectations and we have been able to measure up and rise up to the occasion to the challenges and have very successfully faced and overcome them there are limitations there have been shortcomings no doubt but we are in the process of building our own capacities our professional skills abilities improving our professional standards as a professional police organization at this juncture particularly post the division and with the new government which has come in there is a renewed focus with regards to policing principles policing standards and our honorable chief minister has given very clear instructions to us that there is a need for change there is a need for reform there is a need for transformation in the way the police engage on the ground <clears throat> he is very emphatic very clear that he wants to give an administration which is efficient which is transparent which is accountable and which is free from corruption and he wants the police to be as a service and also engage while we engage policing should be seen as another agency of the government which extend the police services to the citizens of the state and citizens of this country so oka seva bhavana to డ్యూటీ చేయడము ఈ సామాన్య ప్రజలకు కామన్ మ్యాన్ షుడ్ ఫీల్ కాన్ఫిడెంట్ దట్ పోలీస్ ఈజ్ ఫర్ దేర్ సేఫ్టీ ఫర్ దేర్ సెక్యూరిటీ వాళ్ళ కోసమే మన కోసం అని ఒక ఆలోచన ఒక భావన ప్రజల్లో తీసుకురావాలని ద డైరెక్షన్ దట్ హెస్ బిన్ గివెన్ బై అవర్ ఆనరబుల్ సీఎం so we would be 
striving and work, uh, working towards that direction. Particularly, common man and the masses, vulnerable sections in the society, which needs the services of the police. And when I say vulnerable sections, it is basically women, children, senior citizens, people from Apeda Prajalu, Samanya Prajalu, who feel vulnerable in the society. It will be a bounden responsibility and duty of the police to give them reassurance, give them confidence. So that has been our uh, mandate given to us by the government. So we will be working towards that. There is a lot to be done in terms of building our own capacities. In Daga Chepin Laga, our institutional capacities, Chala Varikumano, Manukucha Sadin Chali, to build our capacities. We have a historical legacy in terms of professionalism, but we are still grappling with certain areas. We need to have our training academy, for example. We need to focus in in-house training, internal in-house training, orientation, and preparedness in all fields of policing. I'm very confident that all the police officers will all work together towards achieving these new goals, the new vision of this government in this new state of Andhra Pradesh. I know that division has been hard, but it is being taken as an opportunity. When there is a change, people are asking for change. You have seen the mandate in the recent elections. So that is the expectations of the people. There is expectations from the people that they need performance, they need <coughs> deliveries. So we will be meeting those expectations. We will strive our best towards that. As regards crime trend, crime pattern in the state so far, we see that there are crime re related to women and children, particularly girl children, that we need to focus. Then road accidents is an area of concern. I believe Andhra Pradesh has third highest number of fatalities in this country. So there is a need to look at it. And we need to devise strategies to deal with this crime trend on the ground. We will be doing a detailed study. And wherever necessary, seek assistance and expertise from outside to try to find solutions and devise strategies to deal with this accidents, which is causing a huge number of deaths, loss of life, precious life. Apart from that, focus in organized crime, a new trend which has emerged in the last couple of years is cyber crimes. Uh, we have many other crimes which are uh, on the internet, uh, which also needs attention. That's an area which always, uh, police are always one step behind in trying to catch up with those who are perpetrating, taking advantage of these new domains and using it for a wrongful means. So we will be developing our capacities in as far as dealing with this cyber crime, 
and crime in the cyberspace. There is also a recent trend in the inc uh, with increase in consumption of drugs and availability of drugs. Uh, so that's another area that uh, we need to focus in. Uh, my discussions with my officers before coming here, they have raised concern. We will also be studying um, various areas where which needs attention, and we will shall go about in a very systematic manner. Once again, friends, I will take questions and answers from you all, because all of you are also, uh, I think, very well versed with uh, police and policing subjects. And I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Uh, so perhaps uh, in taking question and answers, I will respond to all your Professor, queries and things. And once again, before I finish, uh, I seek the cooperation of every one, every staff member within the police department. Uh, our Honorable CM was also very concerned about the welfare and well-being, the hard and difficult circumstances under which a policeman has to work. Uh, he's always at the, at the receiving end uh, with too many demands and expectations on him. Uh, his working environment is very harsh and difficult. So he had already announced one, one day as a weekly off to our staff, uh, which, has been, which has been received with very great response within the rank and file of the police department. And that is the start. And to achieve that, we will be working towards that. Uh, short of manpower, if there is one day off, uh, we will be also attending to that. Uh, government has assured that they will look into what needs uh, to, to achieve that objective. But again, as I said, that is the start. That is the beginning. There would be measures in times to come to, to take care of the welfare of our, not only of our staff, but also the family members. So I'm sure that every staff member of AP Police, today they are also looking forward. Change atmosphere with new expectations, new hopes, they would like to serve the society, serve the nation. So I really, on behalf of AP Police, seek support of all stakeholders. To start with, of course, the media. You're always uh, the watchdog of the society. I seek your support to achieve our goals and responsibilities. I know that you have a role to play, and we also have a role to play. We need to have a mutual symbiotic relationship towards that. At the same time, uh, all sections of the society, all stakeholders in the society, it's also important to involve stakeholders of the society. It will be a, an effort and initiative which will be collaborative and participatory. We will involve cross sections of the society, different stakeholders who can help us to help them. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel.